So in this problem, we're told that in the quadratic equation above, a is a non-zero constant. The graph of the equation in the xy plane is a parabola with the vertex c, d. Which of the following is equivalent to d? So we're given this equation here. And so what I want you to recognize is that we have this parabola here. And so we're trying to find uh, the vertex, but we're trying to find the y-coordinate of it, right? So this point right here. And uh, in order to find this, what we need to do is, or what we need to realize is that uh, in order to find the x value of the vertex, we can find that by, um, if we're given two points, right, of our um, parabola here that have the same y value, if we um, add, them up, uh, add them up and divide by two, we can find the value in between, because it's just halfway in between these two different points. And so we can find the halfway point by just um, adding them up and dividing by two. But what are these two points? And so we can realize these two points by... Uh, this equation here, right? So they tell us that uh, at it's x minus 2 and x plus 4. So these are going to be equal to 0 when x is 2 and when x is 4. So at 2 and minus 4, uh, x when x is minus 4, it's going to be equal to 0, right? So we have 2 is 0 and minus 4 is equal to 0. So these two coordinates are going to represent these right here, 2, 0 and minus 4, 0. And so what we want to do is add these x values up and divide by 2. And that's going to give us uh, the, like the distance right here. So this point, and that's going to allow us to find out what c is. And then based on that value of c, all we got to do is plug it in to our function, and that'll give us d. So what we want to do is add these two. So 2 and minus 4. So 2 uh, minus 4, right? Because we're plusing minus 4. And we're dividing by 2. So 2 minus 4 is minus 2. Divide by 2 is going to be minus 2 over 2, which is minus 1. So it's going to be at minus 1, uh, comma, some value, right? So it's going to be C, D. So C is minus 1, and we're trying to find D, so this value right here. So it's just going to be when X equals minus 1 in this formula. So Y equals A times X minus 2 times X plus 4. So let's plug in minus 1. So Y equals A times minus 1 minus 2 times minus 1 plus 4. So y equals a minus 1 minus 2 is going to be minus 3. Then minus 1 plus 4 is going to be 3. So 3 times minus 3 is going to be minus 9. And then we're multiplying by a. So minus 9a. So this is going to be our answer. And if we look at these options, uh, a is going to be minus 9a. So the answer to this problem is going to be a.